The VGM committee has been working on this since 2010. But the idea for this memorial came from the Venice arts and activist community since September 11th, 2001. Here is one of those activists and artists, Jim Smith, of the Venice Peace and Freedom Party and the Free Venice Beachhead. Jim? Thank you, Phyllis. Phyllis told me not to talk longer than two hours. I mean, <laughs> two minutes. That was it, yeah. Got to talk right there. Okay. Very close to the mic. Good morning, Venice. Our beloved town will never be the same. Today we dedicate this beautiful granite pyramid as a living memory. And today we must apologize for those earlier Venetians, those Americans who did nothing to stop this outrage. 75 years ago, the government's uncontested action stained the reputation of the greatest generation and that of one of our otherwise greatest presidents. Kids were taken out of school. Adults had to abandon their homes, farms, and businesses, and lifelong friendships were shattered. In 1942, the president's executive order forced all Americans of Japanese descent to turn themselves in. In Venice, they were ordered to this corner to board buses for destinations unknown. Now, I hate euphemisms, so let's put it plainly. A thousand people from the Venice area and 120,000 nationwide were incarcerated in concentration camps without due process. Most were held for about three and a half years. Our Japanese American Memorial Pyramid has been 15 years in the making. In 2002, Dr. Alice Deck, Yolanda Miranda, Susie Williams, and I began circulating a peace and freedom petition for the creation of this monument. Our local newspaper, The Beachhead, took it up. Then Phyllis Hayashibara and her Venice High School class joined in. The many survivors of Manzanar joined in and led the way. Now it's up to all of us in the city of Venice to take care of this monument of collective memory in the years and generations to come. This monument was built with love and tenacity for future generations in hopes that they will insist on due process and equal justice for all. Thank you for being part of this. Thank you, Jim. Please be sure you receive a copy of the VGM Dedication Souvenir Program, so beautifully designed by Nikki Gilbert. This is the commercial. The Souvenir Program was made possible in part by a grant from the City of Los Angeles Department of Cultural Affairs and with support of community partners. We welcome Marie Riddle. Oh, please stand, Marie. Madi. Muddy Riddle, Program Director of Community Partners. Thank you very much, Marie. Muddy. Next, former Los Angeles City Council member Ruth Galanter, District 6. Ruth made it possible for the Manzano National Historic Site eventually to be developed on what was Los Angeles city owned land in Inyo County. Ruth Galanter. I'm really excited to see this monument and particularly to see it arrive now. Uh, my family's Jewish. We're very sensitive about the issue of camps. We don't like camps. And when I was a child on the East Coast, my mother explained to me when I was quite small that America should, was, shouldn't get too holy about what happened in Europe in the 1940s, that we had our own disgraceful moment here in the US. And so remembering that, it was a very stern lecture. It was my great honor and privilege when I served on the city council representing Venice to carry the motion that got the Department of Water and Power to fork over the land that had been the Manzanar camp. 
It was on DWP property. I, to this day, don't understand why it took a council motion. But the Board of Commissioners had decided not to honor the request of the Manzanar Committee. And it was very exciting. I was sitting a few blocks from here. I put all my breakfast back in the refrigerator and I rushed downtown expecting to have to fight off all my fellow council members to bring in the motion to turn over the land. There was only one motion. It did pass unanimously as I knew it would. And so in, I've even forgotten what year it was, sometime around 1990 maybe. Uh, we did actually, the city did actually turn over the land to the national government to prepare and, and install what is now there, the National Monument at Manzanar. So this, since I live right near here, is to me a very important follow-up. And what's especially important is, as you know, Manzanar is, was deliberately put way out in the middle of nowhere. This is not the middle of nowhere. This is a place where lots of people will be reminded on a daily basis that uh, as <laughs> I never thought I would qu uh, be quoting Barry Goldwater, but I'm sure he got it from somewhere else. Eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. And so again, my congratulations to all of you who made this possible. We need to make sure this monument stays clean and visible and everybody passing by here has a chance to stop and think especially now. So I thank you for letting me be a part of this. I take it all very personally. I'm very proud of this, and I hope you are too. Thank you, Ruth. In March 2015, the Los Angeles City Board of Public Works approved the recommendation of the Office of Community Beautification for the VGEM to encroach upon public right-of-way and to issue no fee permits and no fee inspection. Thank you, commissioners. Representing the Board of Public Works and on behalf of Los Angeles City Mayor Eric Garcetti and Chief of Staff Anna Guerrero, Commissioner Joel Jacinto. Thank you, Phyllis. On behalf of Mayor Eric Garcetti, and I just received a text from him, and he sends his blessings and greetings uh, for this wonderful occasion, and Chief of Staff, uh, Ana Guerrero, Phyllis, and the rest of the members of the Board of <laughs> Public Works for the City of Los Angeles who granted the revocable permit, which is an affirmation that this, m this monument, this community process, should belongs here in CD11 and in Los Angeles now and for generations to come. I'm here to present a scroll, and I'd like to ask my friend Len Nguyen to come on up from the great CD11. And I just have to say that the process that was documented to allow us to be here today in memory of those past is so important that it's a benchmark. I'm going to invite uh, VJAM to come back to the Board of Public Works. We're going to celebrate and we're going to share with Los Angeles how you remember the past for the future. Here we go. Whereas the VJAM Monument Committee has been working since 2010 and is dedicating on this day, Thursday, April 27, 2017. And whereas VJAM will commemorate the 1,000 persons of Japanese ancestry who were forcibly removed from Venice, Santa Monica, and Malibu, who gathered at this very corner with only what they could carry over several days in April 1942, and who were incarcerated in the American concentration camp at Mansonar for the duration of World War II, and whereas 2017 also commemorates the 75th anniversary of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's signing of Executive Order 9066, which set in motion the civilian exclusion orders, which notified all persons of Japanese ancestry from their imminent departure from the West Coast states of Washington, Oregon, and California, and whereas this forced removal and imprisonment without any regard to due process or the writ of habeas corpus violated their rights under the U.S. Constitution. Now therefore be it resolved that the City of Los Angeles extends its congratulations and appreciation to the VJAM committee members Nick K. Brown, Nikki Gilbert, Phyllis Hayashibara, May Kakehachi, Arnold Maeda, Brian Maeda, Alice Steck, Suzanne Thompson, the late Yoshitomita, and Emily Winters 
for their efforts to remind us to be forever vigilant about defending our constitutional rights and that the powers of government must never again perpetuate an injustice against any group based solely on ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, race, or religion. Signed this day by Mayor Eric Garcetti. God bless you all. Thank you, Joel. Allow me to introduce and thank the Los Angeles City team that coordinated the transport foundation installation of the VGEM. I don't see him here, though. Is David Perka here? Where? Oh, David Perka, thank you so much. I wanted to thank uh, General Superintendent Thomas Bylard. Is Thomas here? Thank you. And uh, thank you for waving to the audience. Um, on the ground and in the rain, David Perka was our man. He would rather be surfing. But um, thank you so much, both of you. It was a tremendous job.